Hey, what's up? I'm Matt Latham, ISA Master Arborist and ASCO Registered Consulting Arborist. And today let's talk about oak wilt, one of the most feared phrases in all of tree care. The oak wilt is a fungal pathogen and one of the most destructive tree diseases we have here in Texas. So let's talk about A, the symptoms and how it's spread, uh, B, some things that might look like it but are not, and of course, some solutions that we have available to us in the industry. So symptoms and spread. See, and they're going to look different between red oaks and white oaks. In red oaks, oak wilt typically shows up as like a bronze or a brown leaf, typically starting at the tip and though and working its way back. Uh, and often those trees, unfortunately, can unalive within weeks very quickly. Uh, live oaks are a bit slower. They'll, you'll often see something called venal necrosis. That is where the veins of the leaf turn brown while the tissue in between the veins stay green. Over time, entire patches of the tree can start declining and quickly spread to the remaining portions. Um, now let's talk about its spread. Its spread is really two ways. There's the underground version and the above ground version. Underground roots will graft so they can share resources. That's a good thing, but unfortunately that can transfer the pathogen from one tree to another. Above ground, there's little tiny beetles called natitalid beetles that can carry spores from oak wilt infested trees over to your freshly cut live oak or red oak. Uh, let's so, talk about some lookalikes because here's the tricky part. A lot of things look like oak wilt, but are not. I get so many phone calls where people are freaking out because they think their tree is oak wilt and it turns out to be something much less severe, much more benign, uh, because here's the thing is drought stress, nutrient deficiencies, even hypoxylin canker and other pathogens can actually mimic the symptoms. But nine times out of 10, when a homeowner owner thinks it's oak wilt, it turns out to be something much less condemning. So that's why a professional diagnosis is so important. Let's talk about our solutions we have in the industry. There's really, there's no magic silver bullet, but there are ways to slow it down. The first and foremost is prevention. Don't prune when in spring or summer months when the beetles are active and always seal freshly cut oak wounds if you have oak wilt in your area, check your local ag extension. For valuable trees, fungicide injections can sometimes protect them actually uh, as a preventative. And in neighborhoods where you've got fungal path, where you've got oak wilt present, what you really need to do is trench around the soil between tree species, almost create like a little target pattern. That's going to prevent those root graftings and sever those connections so they're not all sharing it together. So then the thing is, if red oaks get infected, unfortunately, they usually need to be removed very quickly because they're basically spore factories that keep the problem going throughout the community. The oak wilt is kind of like wildfire underground. It's fast, destructive, and costly, but don't panic because it might not even be oak wilt most of the time. And if you do suspect your tree's got oak wilt and really want a second opinion, go ahead and book a consultation at arborsondemand.com and let's figure out what's really going on with your trees. Thanks for watching. Follow for more great tree tips.